Hey guys, how are you today? Today I wanted to talk to you about belly fat. My name is Dr. McLaughlin and I'm the creator of Sharon Mac Wellness. So, a lot of questions. Dr. McLaughlin, how do I get rid of this belly fat? What do I do? Listen, there's no easy answer here, but I did want to talk about the health concerns with belly fat. See, there's two different types. There's subcutaneous, which is right underneath the skin, and then there's visceral fat, which is deeper in the abdominal cavity. It surrounds our intestines, and that's the one that I'm concerned about. But see, with the people that have visceral fat or higher, um, how do I say it, a higher amount of visceral fat, they're more out, more likely to develop cardiovascular disease, uh, different types of cancer, diabetes. And the reason for that is because visceral fat is associated with inflammation. And we know that inflammation is associated with chronic diseases, such as diabetes, cardiovascular disease. Now we also know that people that have visceral fat, higher rates of visceral fat, they unfortunately have a faster cognitive decline as they get older. And you know, it may not be that people that are overweight have visceral fat, higher rates of visceral fat. It could also be people that have a normal body mass index. They too can have, you know, higher amounts of visceral fat. It just depends on the diet. So what type of diet promotes visceral fat? Diets that are high in sugar, diets that are high in refined grains. Both of those types of foods have been shown to increase our visceral fat or the belly fat, the deep belly fat. Same with saturated fats. Now, saturated fats you're going to get in animal products, meats, and even unfortunately dairy products. So I'm not saying don't eat those foods, but just, you know, like myself with red meats, about no more, definitely no more than once a week. And dairy I've really cut down on. I do have cheese occasionally, but as far as milk and my coffee, I do that occasionally, but by and large for my coffee, I'm doing nutmeg and I'm doing cinnamon now. I've really gotten away from a lot of the dairy products. You know, I follow a Mediterranean diet. It's pretty much the lifestyle that I follow. And I think, you know, study after study, if you look at any weight loss, it, it's not a fad diet. It's been around for a while. And it's just, it's not even a diet. It's like a type of lifestyle. And that's the one that I really do promote, at least in my practice. So back to belly fat, visceral fat. What, are, what other things promote visceral fat. Chronic stress, right? Most of us live in a very like stressed society. A stre we have stressful lives. And unfortunately, because of cortisol levels, it's gonna increase our risk of visceral fat. We know the people that don't sleep enough, like less than seven hours a night, they too are gonna have a higher rate of visceral fat. People that don't do strength training. See, as we get older, our muscle mass, it decreases. It's considered sarcopenia. It comes with aging, fine. So what do we do for that? We make sure that we're exercising throughout the week, but we definitely want some strength training because that's gonna help build the muscle mass. And when we build muscle mass, muscle itself, it burns fat. It's a fat burning state. So build up that muscle, keep it strong. It's also gonna help with bone density, but that's another talk, okay? So we know that as far as different types, those are basically the foods to avoid. Saturated fats, refined grains, we wanna make sure that we're getting enough sleep, all right? And then other things too. What about the type of foods that can actually help? Well, avocados, they're filled with fiber, they're filled with antioxidants, and it's a healthy type of fat, right? So, and it's not, it's an unsaturated, it's considered an unsaturated fat. So those are good. Nuts are another thing that can help promote, um, you know, a better diet and less visceral fat. Avocado is a type of fat, it's going to make us feel full. The same thing with nuts. When we're eating nuts, yes, they're high in calories and you don't want, you know, a whole cup at one time, but if you use them as a snack or use them as like to throw into some salads, or as a side meal, that's absolutely fine. They're filled with protein, they have fiber in them, they have vitamins and, and minerals that we need. And we also know that, you know, because of that, it helps us feel full and it's a good way of getting a healthy fat that makes us feel full without having to rely on refined grains. The bottom line is if you eat more whole foods, there's going to be less room for foods that are unhealthy, such as the refined grains, the sugars, and the saturated fats. So try to stick with unsaturated fats, and you're going to find that in avocado, and you're going to find that in nuts. The other thing that you can do is lentils. See, lentils and whole grains, they're good because they have lots of fiber, they make us feel full, and they've been shown to decrease visceral fat. But it probably has to do with not, again, if we're eating those types of foods, 
we're less likely to eat foods that are higher in refined grains and sugars. Salmon, right, it has omega-3 in it. Salmon is a fish, has omega-3 in it, and that's a good thing because omega-3, again, is another type of healthy fat, but omega-3 has the benefits of decreasing inflammation. So we know that people that have visceral fat, they have higher rates of, of inflammation. So salmon counteracts that, counteracts that because it decreases inflammation. So remember, just stick with a whole food diet, consider that Mediterranean type of lifestyle. I'll talk more about that on another video. I'm going to definitely have that in my wellness course that I'll be offering. And I offer a course right now. It's actually, if you're trying to lose weight, it has to do with a mindset. Mindset and losing weight. So you can find that at Sharon Mack Wellness. That's Sharon Mack, M-A-C-K, wellness.com. All right, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I also have free resources on my website, so take a look at that as far as, you know, my four pillars of success and wellness. And I will see you guys on another video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.